So class, I'm going to uh, speak a bit uh, to augment uh, a reading that I'm including uh, regarding adhocracy and a little description of what adhocracy is. Um, there's an entire full lecture that can be done on this topic, uh, more than one, but for our purposes, um, consider adhocracy as essentially organizations that do quite a bit of project work. And of course, nonprofit organizations fit neatly into that, uh, very, that scheme. Uh, the best example would be uh, like an, a construction company where you do have a central contracting agency that may take on a job, a large construction job, uh, of some sort, uh, but they don't necessarily have everybody in-house um, that is simply waiting for that project to happen. Um, you have people that have to go out and prepare the land, uh, do the surveying, um, you know, you contract out for the blueprints, uh, working with engineers to um, uh, contract for the right materials. Um, prepare the site with you know bulldozers or what have you uh, and then you perhaps call in people to pour the concrete uh, then bring in another set of people to do the plumbing uh, to do the electrical work uh, to do the finishing work the drywall the interior flooring ceilings etc the little details that would come with uh, putting a construction project together uh, at its finishing stages, roofers, etc. You get the point. Uh, these people are not necessarily simply hanging around in an office uh, waiting for that job. Uh, you, you subcontract, you bring these people in as needed. So as you can imagine with a nonprofit organization where you are out there floating any number of grants uh, and then securing um, a few of them, uh, you are then having to deliver uh, on that given project that you are contracted to do. And in many cases, these are, in relative terms, short-term contracts. Uh, they may work for a year, two years, three years, five years, uh, and then the grant is probably up and you have to you know, show your work and hopefully it continues, but you just don't know. In any case, you, you assemble teams uh, to fulfill these projects. So that's what is meant by adhocracy. You are organizing kind of on the fly, but you are drawing upon experts, people who can clearly do the work for you uh, and do it right, because the last thing in the world you'd want as an organization is to contract for services and then uh, hastily try to put together uh, a mediocre team that may or may not be able to get the job done right. And that reflects badly on your organization and uh, your long-term viability comes into question if you don't uh, have the jo those jobs done right. So that brings us then to the question of leadership. Um, and that is a project manager. Uh, project managers, as the title implies, are managers but uh, they also take on these leadership roles. They have to get these jobs done and they have to get them done usually in an autonomous way from uh, the decision makers in your administrative core who may have secured these grants and decided you know, internally uh, to take on these projects. But to actually carry them out requires a certain type of person who is able to, through expertise and experience, um, uh, perform these jobs and work with various people uh, with whom they may not have worked with before. So it's an interesting take on what I see as an increasingly emergent form of organization and one particularly attuned to nonprofit organizations. Um, the role of project managers, what kind of uh, species of leadership would you call that? Uh, or is it simply relegated to the idea of management and a project manager is just this unique role that 
uh, comes under that heading. And then leadership is somehow still with the administrative core that is making the calls in terms of the projects to take on. Um, it's ambiguous to me. I'm not saying there's a pure form or a right or wrong answer to this, but one worth exploring because more and more of you are likely to be uh, possibly in those roles and uh, having to deal with those very questions. And uh, as I said, to me, I think it is an interesting form of leadership that is uh, one that we need to recognize and appreciate and identify those characteristics and traits that lend themselves to an effective project manager as perhaps leader, you'd be the judge. So uh, read the uh, reading. Uh, some of you are maybe already familiar with this. It's something that I used in the survey course in uh, nonprofit management because as I said, um, many nonprofit organizations are in fact ad hocratic uh, in their makeup and in their operations. So uh, this is a good time to reread that and perhaps have that marinate and um, you can take that, um, those concepts to uh, a more fine-tuned level. Uh, for the rest of you, by all means, read this, hopefully make those connections, see how it applies to emergent forms of organization. Thanks.